when humanity wins the fight over the climate crisis, today will be an important day, landmark in that action. In Brighton today, the unveiling of the country's largest direct air capture plant, placing our state front and center in the effort to confront climate change. Former Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi just saw her there, joined Governor Polis and top White House climate officials for that unveiling. CBS News Colorado Sean Boyd got an exclusive advanced look at the technology essential to slowing global warming. The world's top climate scientists warn we are not moving fast enough to rein in greenhouse gases. The only way to stop temperatures from rising above the point of no return, they say, is to remove carbon already in the atmosphere. And a Colorado company has developed among the most advanced technology in the world for doing just that. We're pulling air out from the atmosphere. Not everyone can say they're helping save the planet. But Paul Nahi is CEO of a company that may be our best hope to reversing climate change. Global Thermostat has developed cutting edge technology called direct air capture or DAC that can remove large volumes of carbon directly from the atmosphere. There's no reason why Global Thermostat can't be, won't be, that next generation industrial revolution. It's already underway at a warehouse in Brighton, where over the last decade, Global Thermostat has developed one of the most energy efficient, cost effective methods of carbon capture in the world. The air passes through, exactly. the chemicals grab the carbon, exactly. trap them. Exactly. High efficiency industrial fans draw air through a series of honeycomb like filters coated with a chemical mixture that binds to carbon dioxide. The filters are then injected with steam that pulls out the carbon and releases carbon free air back into the atmosphere. Do you need much energy to do this? The amount of energy is, is de minimis. This design it, it, it does something in such a way that the air flows very smoothly through it. As for the carbon that's captured, now he says there are companies using it for fuel, fertilizer, even carbonating beverages. Others are interested in it as a way of reaching net zero emissions. We are in discussion with multiple customers, uh, and interestingly, customers all over the world. Direct air capture represents a massive potential industry, an industry on the scale of what oil and gas is today. Ironically, Global Thermostat will need oil and gas wells to sequester carbon that's not used, and oil and gas chemists and engineers to grow the company, making Colorado a perfect location for its global headquarters. And there are very few states or very few areas that have that level of, of talent available right sort of within, uh, within a couple of zip codes. Nahi admits the task is daunting. Scientists estimate we need to remove 10 gigatons of carbon per year by 2050 and 20 gigatons a year by the end of the century to lower the global temperature. How big of a difference can one company make? We are already in discussions with uh, multiple partners about moving from kiloton to hundreds of kilotons in the next couple of years, and then shortly thereafter move to, move to the megaton scale. We can avoid this. There is still time, but we have to act now. That is, if we want a planet that is livable. There's so much bad news about the climate, and it's real, and it's bad, but knowing that there's a path is very heartening. And it starts in Colorado. And it starts in Colorado. While Global Thermostat's direct air capture technology is essential to avoiding the worst impacts of climate change, scientists say it can't do it alone. In addition to pulling carbon out of the atmosphere, they say we must continue to prevent it from getting there in the first place. Sean Boyd, covering Colorado First.